Hi, I'm Dr. AJ Tarpoff, the Beef Extension Veterinarian for Kansas State University. And today, I wanna to talk about health assessments with cattle, what we look for and why. It's critical that our animals get looked after every single day for a health check. And that health check is really trying to distinguish normal versus abnormal. And today, we'll talk a little bit about some of these abnormalities. What do we look for in a group of cattle to assess their health status? The first thing that we look for is behavior. Their behavioral changes are, are one of the key indicators that we can see from a distance. Sometimes our animals, if they're feel, not feeling well, might separate themselves from the herd. Other behavioral changes that we can see from a distance is possibly feeding behavior. Okay, what is their nutritional status? One way that we can see if an animal has been on feed like they should is we check the flank just in front of the hip, just behind the ribs, if that is sunken in, that's a good indicator that animal may not have been feeding like it should have been the past couple of days. And that's when we would get a health check uh, on further diagnosis at that time. Other things that we'll look at nutritionally is ensuring that they don't have any digestive upsets. That might be bloat if they're a little bit distended. Uh, that might also be having uh, different signs of diarrhea, which we'll see on the rear end of those animals. So we do assess what the fecal output looks like in the, in the pasture or in the pen to make sure that their, their digestive tracts are healthy and working like they should. After we look at the behavior and we look at the nutritional status of those animals, we will get a, a closer assessment uh, visually on how they move and also uh, their mentation and how they look on their face. When we move these animals through a pasture or a pen, what we look for is any type, type of lameness. Those lameness, we can usually isolate to one leg or another, and we can get, get proper treatment and diagnosis uh, once we pull that animal out of the group. Now the face structure, what we look for is any distinguishing features. If they have watering eyes, if they have nasal discharge coming out of, out of their nose, uh, if they're drooling slightly, uh, these are all indicators that something might be going on. Uh, breathing is one of the, the key indicators that we look for for bovine respiratory disease. That's the number one disease of beef cattle uh, worldwide is bovine respiratory disease. So how we assess that is breathing. They will have increased respiratory rate where we can see them breathing more actively. Uh, but really it is it causes major signs of depression. These animals, their ears will be droopy. They'll hang their head a little bit lower. Uh, those are key indicators the animal's not feeling well and we do have to have uh, some type of intervention for proper treatment. So these are just some of the common things that we look at with beef cattle when we're trying to health, uh, assess the health status on a daily basis. Thank you.